The crime and corruption watchdog has officially been called upon to investigate the Premier and opposition leader over their roles in stripping resources from Catter's Australian party. As Tegan George reports, state leader Robbie Catter wants Anastasia Palaszczuk to stand aside, but she says she's acted within the guidelines. Four minutes before Catter MPs were due to front the media, they were advised their four extra staff would be out of a job on Friday. I tell you what, they're the most hard-working blokes that I've ever seen and it absolutely breaks my heart. I'm almost in tears thinking about this. The Premier today officially pulled funding for the party's three parliamentary research staff and one electorate officer because the state MPs refused to denounce Federal Senator Fraser Anning's contentious maiden speech. The Premier should have cut off this funding months ago. She knows it. I'm not sure why she's dithering. But it's not the end of the matter. KAP has formally asked the state's crime and corruption watchdog to investigate four politicians. Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk, Opposition Leader Deb Frecklington, her deputy Tim Mander and Warrigo MP Anne Lay, alleging they may have all breached the criminal code by supporting the funding cuts. As a result, we feel uh, the Premier um, should stand down uh, during the time that this is being investigated. And let the staff keep their jobs. You know, a speech was manipulated, it was twisted, it was misquoted, you know, when we were pushed to that capacity of that, you know, you must disagree with what he has to say. The Premier wouldn't respond on camera but had this to say yesterday. I'm not worried about that at all. It's not in breach. It's uh, totally at my discretion. Catter's Australian Party is also considering taking other forms of action and hasn't ruled out asking Speaker Curtis Pitt to intervene in the increasingly ugly feud. It seems to me they've done something wrong and I think they've done the wrong by the public uh, and we've asked them to investigate. It's as simple as that. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.